Hey YouTube, how's it going? Kes and Bro Dragons here. Uh, hope you're all keeping well. Obviously, the world's not in a great place at the moment with the coronavirus or the new crush card. Um, but I hope you're all looking after yourselves, staying safe. <clears throat> so today, moving on, got a delivery of Jewel Overload. And I actually got more than one, so I got one, two, three, four, <clears throat> five, six, seven, eight. Got eight boxes of Jewel Overload. Uh, so I'm going to bring you this box opening. Uh, as you get news, it's going to be a bit slow and there's no new product for a while. Secret Slayers has been delayed and anything else beyond that. So... You know, this is the only product we're going to have for a while, so let's hopefully we get some good cards. Got eight boxes, let's see what we pull. Cool, so I opened up most of the boxes. I actually wanted to talk about one. So in terms of actual product design, I actually think it's one of the better looking products that they've given out. Like the way they've displayed the packets, the way the box design's done, even the art on the packaging is actually really good. And if you think about other boxes of this, like we got like, I don't know, um, Jewel Saga or Jewel Power last year, the box design would be nice, but then the packets will be bland and you don't really have the design like it is today. And so, yeah, it's just quite a nice product. Like, they've actually put some a lot of effort into design of it for once, which is quite cool. So, <clears throat> as this is the last one, let's just open it up. So, you do get one oversized card in the box. And then you actually get this clear box, which holds the packets really nicely. So, it keeps the shape and design, which is really cool. So here's the uh, last few packs to get out. And there we are. That is eight boxes worth of Jewel Overload. Really looking forward to this. This is definitely a great product. And I think there's some fantastic cards in this set. So let's have a look at some of the other side cards first. So the first one is Dark Magician. Oh, it's actually really cool. So they're designed in a way that you can actually color them in. And... In a time where we're all kind of stuck at home, probably not the worst thing to do. So if you do like colouring in, or you've got the kids at home, or you colour it in yourself, you know, quite good to hand around. But it's actually look quite cool. Manga style cards. Another Dark Magician. And then, oh, I've got a Blue Eyes, very nice. Always a big fan of the dragons. <laughs> Two Blue Eyes. Uh, tour Guide, oh, okay, that's quite cool. Ah, oh, the Dark Magicians. I think this is a fantastic card. I really like this. So this should be quite cool. Uh, another Dark Magician girl, got a playset. <laughs> and a Stardust Dragon. Okay, it's quite cool. I think I'm missing, I think there were six in total. So the Cyber Infinity one I'm missing, but these are quite cool. And as I said, I think they're designed in a way that you can actually color them in and stuff. So they're quite nice. Might actually color in, show them in the pictures. Cool, now let's finally get into the packs. Um, I'm actually not gonna spend too much time actually talking about all the cards and their effects. Um, just because you would have seen a lot of them, you know, we've been waiting for this product for a long time, but let's have a look. Oh, Dingrisu is the first card. That looks really nice. It came as an Ultra Rare originally, so no change there. Dot Deck Lockdown, very nice. I think that's a reprint. Heretic Sign, cool. Scrap Orthos, very nice. Might look to make a scrap deck. Uh, double Evolution Pill, not bad at all. Okay. That is pack one. Uh, I think it's also key to note, like, the artwork on these packs are so cool. So look at this one, Phantasme. That just looks so nice. Um, but they don't actually link to, like, any of the cards that we have in there. So, you know, it doesn't matter what the packs look like. Medolce Magelin. Nice. Cybernetic Overload. Oh, it looks so nice as an Ultra Rare. Ah, oh, that looks really cool. Let's carry on. Uh, Abyss Actor. Hyper Director. King Dragoon, not the Dragoon we wanted, and the Cubic Dharma. Okay, nice. Let's move on. I'm going to kind of rush through these packs a bit, as just because there's so many to get through. <coughs> uh, let's see. Ah, oh, Sky Striker, Ace Kagari, very nice, alternate art. That actually looks so cool. 
ready for battle. Uh, Giga Plant, Secret Six Sanwai, Fuma, another Abyss Actor, and a Witchcrafter. Very nice. Cool. Moving on. So if you guys are picking up this product, what cards are you sort of chasing for? Ah, Waking of the Possessed. Uh, artworks actually looks really nice. And for the new familiar uh, structure deck, I think that's going to come out. This so actually be a really good card for it. Super Retroid, Stealth Union. Number 27, Dreadnought. Cool card. Another W Evolution Field. And another Cubic. Cool. Yeah, so like, what cards are you guys after? Like, what are you going to chase down? I think me personally... Obviously, you want the chase cards, Needle Fiber, Verte. Oh, Chaos Dragon Eleven Air. This is probably one of them as well. I really like this art. It's actually quite nice. Enema's Judgment. I think this is the new zombie support card. Uh, Reptine, Magic Formula, and Speedweight. Okay. I think Union Carry is quite shorted in this, so if you do get it, be very happy. Uh, Starving Venom, Lethal Dragon. Ah, uh, Paleozoic, Dismiscus. <laughs> I don't even know how to pronounce this. Angonogramcum Umbrella. Okay. A Giga Plant. And uh, Death the Hero Celestial. Nice. Not sure if that needs reprint, but... I think generally everyone's really happy with this set. But obviously there could have been other cards in there. Ah, oh, the new Relinquished. Very good card. Nice. Got the new Fight for Fair Nightmare, reprint of the Witchmare, and another deck lockdown. Oh, and another Heretic sign. Cool. Let's see. Ah, yes! Crystal Needle Fiber or Halle Queen Freebrex. Not sure. No one's been able to pronounce this name. It's so bloody complicated. I'm pretty sure everyone's just going to call it Needle Fiber. And even at tournaments, when you write the name down, they're going to write Needle Fiber. And that's where they're going to get DQ'd. So just be careful when you write the name down. But yes, this is definitely the Chase card, so I'm very happy with that. I think it was going for like £60 at one point, so very happy with that. Happy days. Another Scrap Orthos. Play set of Double Evolution Pill. Yes, another Cyber Overload Flow. And an Abyss Actor. Cool. So I don't... From what I've seen a lot of people's videos, I don't think... Um, the needle fiber has actually been as shorted as they think, but I think the um, <gasps> infinite impermanence, very nice. But I definitely think Union Carrier is. Uh, you got a Dragoon, got another Cubic, another Giga Plant, and another Fuma. Um, if you're only another Sky Striker, if you guys are only looking to pick up a couple of cards on this set, I would actually just recommend buying the singles. Uh, but if you're just a fan of the collections, I would recommend the boxes just because there are so many good cards in it. Double Evolution Peel, or even if you're getting back into the game, like this just has a lot of good cards in it. Another Cubic, another Enema's Judgment, and another Reptile. Okay. Ooh, Sonic Mining. This is definitely very shorted in this set, so that is a very good pull. Very happy with that. A Magic Formula, another Speed Worry. Another Paleozoic, and another Umbrella. I'm not going to make the mistake of saying that name again. Okay, what have we got? Ah, we've got the new Trap Chicks. So this is actually a really good card. Uh, you tribute it, and then you can set two traps, one from your graveyard, one from your hand. Uh, two whole traps. Uh, so it actually works really well with Trap Chicks, Sarah. So Trap Chicks, definitely a deck that's going to come back. Put that to, sorry, we'll put that to the side. Uh, Kicker Plant. <laughs> Another Destiny Hero. Oh, Magical Musket Starfire. That's a quite a good card. I'm going to put that one to the side. And a Chaos Goddess. Okay, that's quite cool. One Light Tuna plus two Non-Tuna Dark Monsters. You can send one Light Monster from your hand to the graveyard and target one level five or higher Dark Monster in your graveyard. Uh, special summon that monster, but it can't be used as a single material. All right, interesting. Not the worst effect. Yeah, you see. Oh, another Relinquish. Very nice. Malfix Selector. <laughs> the Jama Emperor. I think this is just a meme. If someone actually plays this, I would... Yeah, I'll probably just scoop. <laughs> um, another Malfix and a Vanity's Ruler. Ah, 
For all those of you playing stun decks or aim matter decks, this is the card you're looking for. Okay, next pack. What do we have? <gasps> Another needle fiber! Amazing! <coughs> so, very happy with that. Mafic Territory, cool. Ooh, a ferocious flame swordsman. I don't think this will actually see much play, but the just looks so cool. So it's quite a nice pull. Another scrap, got to place it. Oh yes, and a Samorg Burg or Solemn Tree. You're gonna see a lot of this, especially with like Lunar Light players, because of the whole infinite lock thing this can do. So you're gonna see this a lot. So good card to get hold of. <coughs> now I think it's still going for pretty trees as well. Don't believe it's shorted at all in the set, so you probably see a lot. <gasps> Another Imperm, yes. Okay, that is definitely a shorted card. So definitely <laughs> very happy we got two of those. Uh, an Alien Shock Trooper M frame. It's quite cool. Uh, Dark Ephelion Dragon. That's quite cool as well. I might put that to the side. Y Strick, yep. Yeah. So this is what you're gonna see with the Samorg link. You know, this enables all the plays, so definitely a card you wanna get. And I think it's actually quite common in this set. So very happy with that. And another Soraya, it's a great hand trap for Dragon players. <clears throat> so far, so good. Very happy with these openings. And I don't think we're even halfway through. Artifact Dagger uh, is quite a cool card. Is This is actually really short and is really good. I believe when you make this, you can set an artifact from your hand or deck to the Spell of Trap zone. Um... And then you can destroy it in your opponent's end phrase. But then I think the way people are playing this is with the spell or the artifact. So then you can destroy it and then set another one. And then you just kind of lock your opponent out. So it's quite a good card to get hold of. Really short. So if you can get hold of them, get hold of them. Another scrap. Another double evolution pill. Cyber Dakota Flow. Got my play set now. And another Abyss Actor. So with actual no tournaments and stuff coming up, obviously the format's going to be quite varied. So... Be just really interesting to see where everyone goes. Ooh, another Leopold Dose, another King Dragoon, another Cubic, another Giga Plant, and another Six Samurai. Yeah, so I think whenever the next tournament will be, we're going to see such a variety of decks that it should be really good. Ooh, Celestial Night Lord Passes. That's quite cool. I haven't seen this much at all in the video. So, really nice artwork on this as well, actually. It's quite cool. Uh, another Abyss Actor, another Witch Crafter, the DD King, very nice, Gilgamesh, and another White Mare. Cool. Okay, where are we at? Oh, Imperm! Got a playset, very nice. Another Herald, Malphic, Card of Fate, and a Siphon Omega, quite cool. I wonder if we're going to see this loop again. <laughs> I uh, haven't seen any alternate arts apart from Lemonade at the moment, so let's see. Ib, World Key, Blade Master, very nice. I think this is actually another card that's shorted. Terraforming, very cool. Don't think I needed a knee print though. Uh, Synchro Transcend, and another Y Strix, cool. Okay, Awakening of the Possessed, nice. Another Speed Void, Digs on Aaron. Another Magical Musketeer, and another sign for you. <coughs> Alright, I think I'm just going to fast forward. Ooh, Tour Guide, alternate art, very, very nice. Another Whitmere, another Deck Lockdown, Heretic Sign, Scrap Orthos. I'm guessing you guys are seeing at the moment, like, what are the most common cards you're going to see all the time. Oh, Cyber Dragon Infinity alternate art, very nice. I think this is actually, all the alternate arts are actually quite shorted, so very happy with that. Another uh, W Evolution Pill, another Overflow, another Abyss Actor, another King Dragoon. Okay. Another Dengesu, very cool, very nice. A Cubic, a Giga Plant, a Fuma, and an Abyss Actor. If you're playing Abyss Actors, you know, and you want that link, you're going to find it very cheaply, very common. Ah, oh, Sky Striker Ace Zeke, very nice. That looks quite cool. Another Samorg. Another Alien Shock Trooper. Another Dark Alien Dragon. And a Y Strix. I think that's actually a play, play set of Y Strix now. So, very common indeed. 
Ah, oh, another tour guide. Very nice. Another Sirius. Synchro. Last Warrior from another planet. This is a great uh, Waking the Dragon target. So, brilliant. And Cubic Ascension. Another Cyber Dragon Infinity, amazing. King Suko, a Wachigraph, a Fight for Nightmare, and a Whitmare. Cool. <gasps> yes, Protoplant, Verte, Anaconda. This is the other chase card that we're after. Very happy to pull that. Very nice. Another Abyssactor, a Witchcrafter, Gilgamesh, and a Whitmare. So we're getting there, we're getting there. Slowly, slowly. Ah, Mecha Phantom Beast or Order Drone. This is actually quite a good card as well, and I think it's actually quite shorted. Uh, so just need to figure out how to play it, but very good card. Compulse, nice, as an Ultra Rare. Cubic, uh, Vantis Vua, and our first Swamp Fog. Very nice as an Ultra Rare. Okay, ooh, our first Cyber Emergency. Amazing. Flesh of Slain Swordsman. Uh, Hollow Giants, this is actually our first one. This is actually one of the three new cards that they're giving to us. This is quite cool, very nice art. Chaos Goddess, and our first Protection Well. I think this was actually very heavily overprinted, so it's quite surprised this is the first one we have come across. All right, on to our last few. Hey, another tour guide. That's actually our playset now. Uh, Magical Formula, another Speed Droid, another Paleozoic, and another Umbrella. Still actually haven't seen the Tenny Link 4. Uh, Zeke, very nice. Uh, obviously, we still haven't seen Union Carrier. Uh, sorry, uh, Double Division Pill, another Cubic, another Enema's Judgment, and another Reptilian. So yeah, Union Carrier is the one we're definitely missing now. Otherwise, we seem to have pulled everything else, which is quite cool. Uh, Rose Belt of Revelation. Cool, another Chaos Goddess. Another Protection Welt, as I was just talking about it. Uh, Stealth Union and Dreadnought. Okay. Ah, um, Armelia, the Star Leader Dragon. Quite cool. So I think this is a generic two effect monster. It's quite good for Dragon Links. Not quite sure how it's going to be used because it can't be used for Link material afterwards. But it's quite nice. It looks cool as well. So got one of those. Enema Judgment. Uh, Mystic Space Fire Spoon. Don't know why that was reprinted as Ultra Rare. Malefic. Ah, and our first Zephros the Elite. Very nice. I wanted the Ultra Rare, so now I've got it. Good rarity bump. Ah, oh, yes, another Verte Anaconda. Brilliant. Got two of those now and two Needle Fibers. Amazing. And then Umbrella, Suki, Stealth Union, and Heretic Sign. Cool. So we've got two Needle Fibers and two Verte Condas. We just need a Union Carrier. Another Relinquished. Very nice. Another Cyber Upflow. Speedroid. Degusto Emerald. And another Starfire, cool. All right, last few packs now. Ah, Fujiki Asthma. I think this is actually a really short print EU as well, so quite cool to get one. Another Flame Swordsman, Scrap Orthos, another Samorg, and another Alien Shock Trooper. So obviously, these cards will actually help build a lot of new decks, so I will be bringing those deck profiles. Cyber Emergency, yeah. Just need one more full playset. Dark Affilion, another Wise Tricks, another Ceres, and a Synchro Transcend. Cool. Uh, another Magline, very nice. Another Last Warrior of the Planet, that's quite good. Cubic Ascension. Suki and a wetograph. Cool. I'll stab and claw the hero link either. Oh, talk about it. 
uh, extra hero infernal divisor. So this is quite cool. You basically reveal one of your hero fusion monsters and you can add the two fusion materials on it to your hand. But you, if it's like, if it says like a generic hero, you can't add that. So it has to actually say the full name. So quite a good card, um, could be very useful in hero decks. Uh, another Gilgamesh, Whitmere, another Compulse, very nice. And a new Cubic Casualty. Right. Rosebell Revelation, nice. Vanity's Ruler, ah, second Swap Fog, very nice. Another Ferocious Flame Enforcement, and our second Hollow Giants, cool. Another Fekka Mountain Beast Drone, cool. Chaos Goddess, another Whelp, another Stealth Union, and another Dreadnoid. Okay, we're down to our last five packs. So definitely into the last box. Another Midolche, and Witchcrafter, another Gilgamesh, a Whitmere, and our third Compulse. Got a place of Ultra Compulse, very nice. That did not open very nicely. Okay, what have we got? Sky Striker Ace Kagari, very nice. Cubic, another Vanti's Vula, our third Swamp Fog, we've got a playset, and a Flocious Flame Swordsman. Okay. <laughs> Haven't seen any, now pull two. Uh, extra Hero Infernal Divisor, our third Hollow Giants playset, Chaos Goddess. Another well, and another student. Stealth Union. Come on, three packs. Can we pull that Union carrier? Just need the one. All right, what have we got? Oh, Medolce, Chocolate Mode. Uh, so the, uh, this is really shorted in this as well. So if you have been looking for this, this is obviously a good set for you to get. But obviously you should make the price a lot cheaper as well. Uh, Suki, Stealth Union, Heretic Sign, and Cybernetic Overflow. Oh, we haven't even seen the five-headed dragon link either. So, another one we're missing. <gasps> yes, Union Harrogate, yes! Just needed the one, we got them all. Amazing, I'm so happy with this. I can actually put my other decks together that I want to. Brilliant, so we've got all the cards that we've been after. So, amazing. Uh, another MST. Malefic Territory, another Black Ring, very nice. And uh, an Umbrella, cool. All right, last pack. What do we get? The last pack is the five-headed dragon. Will we pull the five-headed dragon? Let's see. Starving Venom, Lethal Dose Dragon. Uh, Black Ring Zephros, third one. Herald, Mirage of Lights. I actually haven't seen this card, so that's quite cool. Phantasm Era Trilog. We haven't seen this card either, so it's quite cool. And the last card is Enema's Judgment. All right, so not too bad. We pulled two needle fibers, a union carrier. We've got two uh, red plant cat. I've got two silent minings. Uh, sorry, one silent mining, one in permanence as well. Uh, let's pull out all the good cards here. Got two Z. It's got a place of the tour, uh, tour guide. Two signets. It's got the artifact dagger as well. Not bad at all. So let's just organize this a little bit. So, oh, we literally got two needle fibers. Nice. One artifact dagger. We got two pred plant verte anaconda. Very cool. Uh, we got two infinite impermanences. I think I've got another cyber emergency, might be in the big pile. Uh, I've got a sign mining, really happy with that. And you've got the one union carrier, which is ridiculously shorted as we open eight boxes and we've just seen the one. So, hoping you guys enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and see you guys next time.